It was a wild scene in this neighborhood earlier today. SWAT team members, officers, ATF, DEA, all focused on one house. And in the end, police say they cuffed a major player in the local drug scene. Just a quiet little neighborhood. Not much ever goes on around here. Peace, quiet. Other than what Thomas was doing. And a poorly kept secret. Having all the traffic coming back and forth from that kind of made this a uh, a little bit more of a hot spot. Bryson Bruno says police. the home just two doors you know, down is now a well-known drug house. And the man who lived inside, Thomas Sanchez. He had a lot of intimidation against people. He beat up a couple people, a couple of my friends actually. So a lot of people were um, pretty scared of Thomas. Police share similar stories. He is not shy about making threats, uh, particularly towards uh, law enforcement. Early this morning though, a swarm of officers, agents and SWAT team members turned the tables on him. Well, we took him by surprise. Executing a federal arrest warrant and search warrant. Had to break in through the uh, exterior doors and an interior uh, bedroom door. Investigators say they found $5,000 cash and a shotgun he wasn't supposed to have. He was certainly prepared uh, uh, to protect himself if necessary. Detectives had already raided Sanchez's house once before in January, seizing six guns, 15 grand, and what they described as a substantial load of meth, heroin, weed, shrooms, and anabolic steroids. We think especially uh, him uh, being out of the picture for a while will have a significant impact uh, for us. But police weren't done cleaning house. Methamphetamine, this will be cocaine, little bit of marijuana up here, heroin. Detectives say they seized distribution amounts of a variety of drugs and subsequent search warrants at two other houses. These people were arrested in those homes. This neighborhood doesn't need that, nor does this city. This neighbor but seems to be breathing a little easier. He just was selfish, self-centered. That's what that, that was how Thomas Sanchez was. A lot of the neighbors actually ready to leave that Thomas is going to be put away. Police say Sanchez had three prior arrests and an assault conviction. They say he'll be transferred to federal custody before he makes his initial court appearance. In Price, Andrew Adams, KSL 5 News. All right, Andrew.